Tesla reported a 9% drop in first quarter revenue on Tuesday, the biggest decline since 2012, and missed analysts' estimates, as the electric vehicle company weathers the effect of ongoing price cuts. The stock jumped in extended trading after CEO Elon Musk told investors that production of new affordable EV models could begin sooner than expected. Revenue declined from $23.33 billion a year earlier and from $25.17 billion in the fourth quarter. Net income dropped 55% to $1.13 billion, or 34 cents a share, from $2.51 billion, or 73 cents a share, a year ago. Tesla's automotive revenue declined 13% year-over-year to $17.38 billion in the first three months of 2024. Musk said on the call that the company plans to start production of new models in early 2025, if not late this year, after previously expecting to begin in the second half of 2025. Musk also touted Tesla's investments in artificial intelligence infrastructure and said the company is in talks with one major automaker to license its driver assistance system, which is marketed in the U.S. as the full self-driving, or FSD, option. In its shareholder deck, Tesla reiterated a pessimistic outlook for 2024, telling investors that volume growth rate may be notably lower than the growth rate achieved in 2023. Prior to the 13% jump after hours, Tesla shares were down more than 40% this year, reaching their lowest since January 2023, on concerns about weak deliveries, competition in China, and the company's ongoing price cuts. Tesla is aiming to fully utilize its current production capacity and to achieve more than 50% growth over 2023 production before investing in new manufacturing lines. Tesla embarked on a massive restructuring this month, with two executives, Drew Baglino and Rohan Patel, resigning. Musk said last week in a company-wide memo that the automaker was cutting more than 10% of its global workforce. Capital expenditures rose to $2.77 billion, up 34% from a year earlier. Free cash flow turned negative in the quarter, with the company reporting a deficit of $2.53 billion. After discussing operational challenges in the first quarter, including Red Sea supply chain disruptions, Musk said on the call that, we think Q2 will be a lot better. Tesla said total sales included revenue from earlier sales of its FSD option. The release of a feature called Auto Park in North America allowed the company to recognize the deferred revenue. Chris Reddle, Auto's analyst at Siena Capital, estimates that Tesla recognized as much as $700 million in deferred revenue in the quarter from FSD. That's roughly 4.3% of Tesla's automotive revenue after stripping out regulatory credits. Also in the deck, Tesla showed off screens of a Robotaxi-based ride-hailing service. Sales growth across EVs is slowing, and Tesla and key rivals have been slashing EV prices to try to spur demand. Tesla's gross profits plummeted 18% in the first quarter, partly due to price cuts this year. Tesla acknowledged that EV sales around the globe are struggling while carmakers pivot back toward hybrids. We prefer the industry to continue pushing EV adoption, said the company in a news release. To support our growth, we have been increasing awareness and expanding vehicle financing programs. The key line is that growth will be supported by new vehicles. We have updated our future vehicle lineup to accelerate the launch of new models ahead of our previously communicated start of production in the second half of 2025. The translation. Tesla's long-awaited Model 2 is coming sooner than expected. That is what's making investors happy.